Hey there guys, and welcome back to Lost Planet. Awesome! Our giant walking mechanical gun-toting behemoth has just transformed into a flying, jet-powered, glowing, sword-armed giant metallic behemoth. Awesome! Also, major change in gameplay. Like, oh yeah, you spent the entire game walking around and now we're gonna have you flying around for the final boss fight. And you just kinda need to blast up Nevek's orbital elevator thing. Which are all, I guess, this is where they keep all the people in stasis, or something? I don't really know. Anyways, reached the top of it already. I guess this VS is like flying at Mark freaking 3. Which is awesome, I mean, this VS is like, the shits. I wish we had this throughout the entire game, it is simply awesome. Commander Eisenberg. Intruders have been detected in the Frontier System and on the field in front of the orbital elevator. The Frontier System has been disabled. Yes, I know. Deal with the pest problem and get that system running again. Yes, sir. How about the other intruders? I'll handle that one. Focus on getting the system up and running. Yes, sir. That's twice he's interfered with my plans. I grew tired of this game. What are you doing? You're not gonna catch him! It's too late! I can't just sit here and do nothing. Rick, prepare the trailer to receive Wayne when the time comes. Alright. Just don't do anything crazy. I'll be fine. warned you once already. Mind your own business, or there will be consequences. <laughs> this time, I'm the real deal. I'm done wasting time on you. What better way to end this game than with a VS dogfight against the big bad? Yeah. It's uh, new. I haven't done anything like this throughout the entire game, so you're kind of going to have to get used to it. I know I sure had to with uh, flying up and down and left and right and stuff. It's kind of weird. But yeah, he has shields. My lasers don't really do that much. Whoa. You can also shoot at me. Kind of just flying around, shooting each other. Not causing particularly great amounts of damage. Also, the tower thing shooting at me as well. Why can't I have a space tower thing that shoots at my enemies? Unfair, man. Uh, what's he gonna do now? 
I need to get some damage in. This isn't doing anything. Guess I need to fly in close and use my sword to wreck his VS. Alright, stand still for a moment so I can punch you. Or slice you. Yeah, that seemed to cause some damage. What's he gonna do now? Uh... Yeah, the swords apparently do the most damage, but it's really hard to get close and hit him because he tends to keep moving all the time. Also, he can pretty much beat the crap out of me as well because he has, like, freaking jet engines for hands which can torch me. So fly around, blow up the shields, hit him with the sword. Ooh, good hit. Beautiful. Apparently that's how you do it. Also, thermal energy is still something you need to pay attention to because as far as I know there's no way of regaining it in this particular fight and if you keep spamming your lasers too much wait did you just spawn a giant floating gun ah crap why can't I do that I thought my VS was supposed to be the ultimate one but apparently he built an even better one all right here have a sword to the face or at least let me attempt to do that oh got him and now there's two floating guns. Whoa. Ow. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm totally in trouble now. Although I actually do think that if you... You can take out the floating guns as well. But if you shoot those or slash those, he doesn't take any damage. So, you're probably better off just shooting at the main VS. Uh, what's he gonna do now? That doesn't look good. Apparently that was just for show. Alright, here, have some laser. Oh, hold still. Keep messing up my aim. Uh-oh. Oh, just the missiles again. Yeah, you can just shoot those down. It's pretty easy. Or fly over them. They tend to lose you if you do something like that. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Being nowhere near to him, that's for sure. Oh, there he is. Alright, time to move in, deliver another close and personal slash to him. Well, that did something, apparently. And here come the guns again. Whoa. He really covers a huge part of the battlefield with that. Either the one going up and down, or the one just freaking spread shot. Both of them are extremely lethal. Be careful. That's why I'm mainly keeping my distance, it makes it easier to dodge those. Because if you're really close to that freaking spreader thing, and it hits you with multiple of those shots, it's over. Because those guns are strong. And I'm kind of close to being dead as well. But then again, oh crap. Okay, it's all or nothing. He's going to rush in there for the final slash attack and hope that does him in. Charge! For Sparta! I get him. No, I didn't. Oh, crap. Wait. Is that his or mine? Oh, wait. It's his. Sweet, I won. Pretty sure I died at the same time, but I won. Did it. I beat Lost Planet. All right. So, uh, all that remains is the final cutscene, then. Save successful. This game does not have trophy support for some reason. I don't really know why, but just watch this. Wayne! Joe! What's that explosion? Just some fireworks. I'm in the system now. The real fun is about to begin. You okay in there? Just fine. I'll be in touch. Uh. Uh. I'm here. Something wrong? I've been trying to call you forever. Are you alright? Yeah. Sorry if I worried you. Are you sure? Nothing out of the ordinary? No. Good. Wayne. Wayne, come in. Yeah. I, I can hear you. Who is this? It's Joe. I stopped the system. We did it. Oh. Oh. 
Great job. I'll rendezvous with you shortly. See you then. Who's... Joe? It could happen again. You might lose all of your memory. The harmonizer? Is something wrong? Just won't stabilize. I'll be reaching your position soon. Hold on! I don't have much time. No. Remember. Wayne? Wayne! Just a little more. Please. Not like this. It can't end like this. lose anybody else. Wayne! Wayne! You. I must kill you. To end this! It's been one year since it all happened. I've decided to pick up where Yuri left off. In addition to the attachment for the Harmonizer, Yuri left us a lot of valuable data tied to his global warming research. With Rick's help, I analyzed the data and found out what Yuri was trying to accomplish. Today is the first step towards that dream. Looking good here. How about on your end? All good. Commencing. Great. It looks like they're synchronized. Yep. I hope this works. The weather's favorable. But it's an important first step. I wish he could be here to experience it when the fruit of his vision is born. Wayne. I 
wish you could be here to see this. It's amazing. <sighs> Wonderful. I can feel the warmth. You did all of this by yourself. I'm sorry. I just never expected to see dirt or grass here. Are you? Me? Well, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. How rude of me. My name is Luca. It's nice to meet you. Now that's a pretty vague ending if I must say so. I mean, it's pretty much safe to assume that Wayne shot and killed Eisenberg, but what happened after? Like, uh, Luca and Rick are terraforming the planet and just Wayne suddenly walks up like, Oh hey, I don't know who you are anymore, let me introduce myself. So what, Luca didn't see him anymore after he killed Eisenberg? Was he like buried under the snow or something? I don't know, it's kind of weird, really vague. If you have any ideas about what could have happened in between, just post them in the comments. Speculating and stuff. Oh hey, Nolan North voiced Joe. You know who Nolan North is? He also voices Nathan Drake. And he also voiced the narrator. Jeez, that guy does everything. Uh, Nolan North, one of my favorite voice actors. Not just because he also because he does Nathan Drake, which he does awesomely. He also voices Deadpool in several things. And if you know Deadpool, you know that Deadpool is awesome. But yeah, time to discuss Lost Planet Extreme Condition. It's not bad, it's not a great game either. But it's okay. It's certainly not bad. And it's a shame this series never really took off, because I think there's a lot of potential to be had with stuff like this. I mean, it was their first attempt at it, so logically it's not going to be a smash hit immediately. And apparently it did warrant a sequel, which is also in my possession and is probably going to appear on my channel at some point in the future. Not very close future, most likely. Because I haven't even started recording it yet, I have a crap ton of other games I need to record, and I kind of really don't have that much time to record. So yeah, Lost Planet 2 is coming eventually. I don't know when. Could be a few years. Don't know if I'm if I'm still at this in a few years. Let's just hope I will. Because, hey, I'm earning money with it now, so no reason to quit, huh? But, yeah. Lost Planet. It's... Alright. Not really the best Capcom franchise out there. But I guess it has somewhat of a following, because... Somehow... The PTX-40A, which is the VS Wayne was piloting in the final fight... Made it into a Capcom fighting game. Don't ask me how they put a freaking slow-moving juggernaut robot like this in a fighting game. I don't know either why they did it. But they seem to have pulled it off pretty decently. I don't know personally, because I don't own Tatsunoko vs. Capcom for Wii. But I've seen some videos on YouTube and the robot seems to fit in somewhat well. Ah. So now uh, the inevitable point of what am I going to do next Monday will show up again. I really don't have an idea. Well, I do have an idea for a game that I would love to do and I think you guys would enjoy it. But to do that I would have to snatch my little brother's Xbox and record the game quickly. Which I guess I can do because I already have Christmas vacation, he doesn't. So he still has to go to school. So I guess I could snatch it and quickly record it, because the game isn't that long. A few hours at best. 
And it's a really fun one. Hope I can pull it off, but if not, I'll just have to go and do something else. Still have quite a few games left in my backlog, although that backlog is rapidly decreasing. Especially the stuff that is interesting. Because there's some games on there that are kind of dubious, like I don't think people would really watch that. Then again, people didn't really watch this either, and I did it anyway. But, yeah, Lost Planet Extreme Condition has finally come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye bye